Oh, my absolute word. I've been meaning to record this for a couple of days. However, I've just, I've had no time at all. And you know, the only time that I've been on my own that I'm now able to record is the time when, again, I've got no makeup on. And I'm in my snuddy. I'm only in my snuddy because it's absolutely freezing cold. I am actually dressed under here. So I do actually get dressed just in case people are watching this. But it is bloody freezing, I tell you. Anyhow, so the reason I wanted to do a better update is so I could remember this moment and blah, 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 blah. Um, and also maybe if somebody watches this in future, maybe they might feel not so stupid as what I do because I feel so stupid saying things. I don't know, do you know like my thoughts and feelings? It can sometimes make you feel like you're on your own and you're the only one feeling like that. So this is me just ranting out again and maybe if somebody can identify with him and feel like, do you know what, if that fat so-and-so can do it and stick to it, then so can I. It also makes me accountable. So here goes. This year, for the first time, I'm going to pick it up here. Oh, I'm saying I'm going to pick it up, but... Oh, no, I'm not. So, there we are. Right. So, I had Tia at 19 years old. Um, my ex-partner stole my passport um, to commit fraud on me, actually. Wonderful. However, I never, ever renewed it because I could just never afford it. I was always like... I was on my own with two kids in the end and I just couldn't afford it. And then as my weight got bigger and bigger and I've got heavier and heavier, I just, I didn't know, I've got a fear of flying. Now it isn't fear of actually flying because I actually love that part of it. It's actually a fat fear <laughs> that I'll go on the aeroplane and I won't, I just got it in my head that I wouldn't fit in the seats, that I was too fat to fly. So then it became a bit of an excuse not to get my passport and that's meant that throughout all my children's lives I've never taken them on an aeroplane and on holiday. Don't get me wrong, school trips I've paid for and like tears been during lockdown, Lily's got cancelled but I would have hers. Uh, they've been on loads of summer holidays, we don't not go out or do anything so they're not like neglected children but I kind of used the fact that I couldn't afford to go to hide the fact that I didn't dare go and book a holiday um, because I thought I would be too fat. Um, oh, right. So I once went to a fun fair and went to get on a ride and I was too fat for the overhead thing you need to properly clip in. It clicked twice, but you needed to click three times. And the guy just had to ask me to leave. I genuinely have never, ever been so... Well, I probably have been that mortified during my fat shaming things that have happened. But it was mortifying. And I have the fear that that's going to happen to me on an aeroplane. That I've got to book this um, holiday, go to get, like, go through check-in. Everything's fine. Go to get in the seat and be too fat to fit in the seat and fasten the seatbelt so then I'm not allowed to fly. Um, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, I'm not over that. I am absolutely terrified of that happening to me and it fills me with sheer dread, especially because I've only just started trying to lose weight and I'm the fattest that I've ever been. So, like, I'm five stone fatter than what, well, I'm probably more sometimes than what, when I've thought this about myself before. So I have bitten the bullet and here I have my passport. It has now arrived, so I now don't have any excuse because not having a passport has been an excuse to not book a holiday when actually really it was probably because I was too fat. I've now got my passport. I'm really annoyed at myself to an extent that I've allowed myself for my weight to hold me back where that's concerned because I'm generally not a person to have let my fatness hold me back too much. Obviously, there's things that I can't do. Like, I can't go on a helicopter because there's a weight restriction. I can't bungee jump. I can't, do you know, like, I can't go rock climb. There's some stuff anyway that I just can't do because I'm just too fat. 
this is one of the things that I've let hold me back that I need to overcome and I'm annoyed with myself that I've stopped myself doing this but also that that has then impacted that I've stopped my children probably doing it uh, if I'm honest with myself which makes me like now you can tell because I'm like looking to the floor and I feel awful I think that makes me a pretty shitty mum that I've let my eating and my behaviours um, that have then led to me being obese, morbidly obese, then stop me taking my kids away. I mean, don't get me wrong, some aspects of it is that I was on my own with kids. Financially, I was never really in a position to book that holiday. However, I probably could have because I've spent loads of money taking them taking them sound right common taking them to like cornwall and we've been to stonehenge and we've like we've traveled all over anyway in this time and we've got a camper van so we go away in that and although that sounds like it's a cheap holiday it actually isn't and the amount of money that we've spent doing them we could have booked several holidays but it's been a good excuse however now is the crunch time where excuses stop I am in March. I am now in week three of me dieting and so far I have lost one stone, one and a half pound. I'm supposed to get weighed on Thursday, but I'm not getting weighed this Thursday. So I'm hoping that that has reduced somewhat. In fact, I'm literally begging. I'm, I'm not cheating. I am not sneaking bits of food. I'm not eating my sins in chocolate or bread or... Chris, I hadn't had a packet of Chris since I started. I hadn't had a chocolate bar. I hadn't had any chocolate, not even like one piece, not one chocolate button. The only chocolatey thing I've had is, you know, the hi-fi, like Slimming Wheel bars that are like two of them are healthy extra bees. I've cut down on milk. I now drink loads more herbal tea and green tea. And I am willing those scales to go down because crunch time has come and we have booked not just one holiday this week, but two. I know, honestly, when I like, I'm so excited. And the first holiday is to Costa Brava. And we are going with Tia and Lily. And um, there's me and Oliver. And my mum and dad have actually booked to come on now as well. So my mum and dad are going to be there too. It's near Barcelona. That is just the most beautiful place ever. I love travel. I love like the culture. I love going and seeing stuff. I love architecture. All them things are just willing me to go. But I have only got until the 1st of September. We go on the 1st of September. I am now on, is it like the 25th of March or something? It leaves me about five months. I have my birthday this week, which, I mean, it's done me good because in the back of my mind, I'm now going on holiday and I'm absolutely petrified that I'm not going to be able to fly because I'm too fat. <gasps> I have got no want to eat a birthday cake. I don't want to go out and drink alcohol. I don't want to binge on a pizza. I don't want a cheat meal. I genuinely, I mean, I'm eating beautiful food. There's plenty that I'm eating. So I am, I've got five months um, it just doesn't seem long enough for me to lose enough weight that I'm going to want, like, that I want to. But I'm going to lose as much as physically possible for that holiday. Not so I look good, because I won't. I'm not going to lose enough weight. Not because I think, oh, I want to have a summer body like normal people do. Um... Main reason, I'm going to be quite honest, is because my fat ass has got to get in that aeroplane seat. And I'm freaking terrified. Also, I have got to dress for summer. I've got to do loads of walking. Well, there'll be loads of what I like that want to see and do. It's going to be hot. I'm so unfit. I'm going to have to start walking. I need to get my ass into gear. And that is just over five months away. And I am desperate to get there. Um, on a plus net is bed and breakfast. The breakfast is continental. So there'll be loads of like fruit and stuff like that. So it's not like I'm going to have to go majorly off plan. 
Um, I probably will do for some of my meals. I'm not going to like strictly point because I can't really control how they cook the food so much. And we'll be eating out because we're not half bored. Well, to be fair, we're not. We're self catering, but it's going to be a case of we'll probably eat breakfast. Mind you, with the walking, hopefully I'll make up the sins. I suppose I just have to make sure I do loads of walking, and I need to do some walking on the run up to it, just so my joints and my muscles get back used to it, and I need to be lighter. So that's one holiday. Then next year, I have booked to go to Santorini. Um, so that is like a year after. Um, I'm excited for that holiday. It's beautiful. I'm also a little bit terrified because it's quite posh and quite nice and people look nice and you get dressed up. And I'm going to be honest, I just don't look nice anymore in anything I wear or whenever I get dressed up, I just look minging. My fit, like I said, my face. Look at that; it's been uh, run by fat. Um, I I've just got like a real low self esteem about myself, and I just think I look gross in everything. I have actually got some summer clothes, thank God, which I ordered online at Sheen. Like Sheen's brilliant for people that are overweight because there's actually like a massive variety of stuff to choose from. Stuff is quite true to size. Uh, yeah, you get the odd stuff that comes and it's like crappy material and stuff, but it's now like the only place that I shop that I get some variety of different clothing other than oversized t-shirts, jumpers um, and jeggings or leggings um, and vest tops. And that's all you can get in the shops, really. There's like the odd dress and stuff like that, but let's be honest, you know, when I'm a size 24. I don't even know if I've said that on here, actually. I'm a size 24 at the moment, and that is not stocked everywhere. And even the, like, the Asda do some 24s, they're not in every, like, kind of clothes. And shopping for me, like, for summer, well, for any time, really, is a nightmare. And now I'm going on holiday, it's made me think, oh, my God, I'm going away. Luckily, I have got some addresses and stuff. The downside to it is, is I'm hoping to lose enough weight that they don't fit as much anymore. But, and I don't really want to go and buy any wardrobe and stuff. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to alter some of the dresses and stuff that I've got. You know, just like sew them in a bit. Because a lot of them are like maxi ones, you know, that are fitted around your boobs and then like flow out. So if they're a bit baggy here, I can always take them in. I'm thinking, I'm hoping I need to, if I'm going to be honest. I'm hoping that I have to get my sewing machine out or something because I, I'm not right keen on being this size and trying to get my ass onto a plane. So let's hope I've got loads of sewing to do. Uh, but oh, sorry. I don't really want to buy anything because I'm hoping that this is the last summer that those clothes can be altered and fit me. By next summer, I'm hoping... When I go to Santorini, that I'm going to have to have a new wardrobe. I'm saying new wardrobe. I'm quite good at travelling light. So, do you know, like, oh, God, look at that. I always get dodgy sideburns. Um, I'm hoping that I'll have to buy myself a few dresses and stuff. Do you know, just so I can go on holiday. Um, but I'm I'm quite enjoying charity shop buying and stuff like that. So, that seems that'll be a thing. So, yeah, that's today's rant and where I'm up to. Um, Like I said, I am... What day are we on today? It's Monday today, so way day should be Thursday, which I'm not going because it's my birthday, but it is nice to be able to count down the weeks. Um, this is another, like, I'm over halfway through my week of week three, um, ready to head into week four, which will have been a month healthy eating. And do you know what? Actually, a month healthy eating is pretty good. Like, that's good for me. It's actually really good. I've not really thought about it like that. But I've had a month healthy eating and I've not touched chocolate in a month. Like, that is, do you know when you're this fat? That's a not something that happens easily. I've not had any pastries. Like, I would, like, now, I if I could eat anything and look, like, if eating rubbish stuff made me lose weight, I would eat, like, a Greg's vegan sausage roll, um, pizza with stuffed crust, uh, chips and cheese, chocolate and probably some crisps you know that you dip in that like cheesy sauce i love cheese actually that's god i'm so crazy <gasps> oh okay, sorry um so yeah anyway so i've just gone on for 15 minutes about the fact that i'm now going on holiday but that is where i'm at and that is my fears and that is what's occurring
So, all fun. Let's hope this lasts me soon.